Meanwhile, Iran has responded to the new U.S. sanctions. Tehran has said that the new sanctions against the country's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, has ended diplomacy between Iran and the U.S. Iran's foreign minister's spokesperson, Abbas Musavi, tweeted, and I quote, Imposing useless sanctions on Iran's supreme leader is the permanent closure of the path of diplomacy. Unquote. The official added that Trump's so-called desperate administration is destroying the established international mechanism. Musavi said that the sanctions are against world peace and security. Let's now take a quick look at what the new U.S. sanctions are all about. These U.S. sanctions target Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei. The targets also include senior military figures. With the new order, Washington has blocked their access to any financial assets under the U.S. jurisdiction. Khamenei and his close aides have been denied access to money and support, essentially. Before signing the order, Trump said that the sanctions will be hard-hitting. The supreme leader of Iran is one who ultimately is responsible for the hostile conduct of the regime. He's respected within his country. His office oversees the regime's most brutal instruments, including the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Sanctions imposed through the executive order that I'm about to sign will deny the Supreme Leader and the Supreme Leader's office and those closely affiliated with him and the office access to key financial resources and support. The assets of Ayatollah Khomeini and his office will not be spared from the sanctions. U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin said that the new sanctions will lock up billions of additional dollars in Iranian assets. He said that the aim is to squeeze Iran even further. I think the president can clear maximum pressure on the sanctions. So that is, that is our strategy. And it's not just him. It's, it's the leader's office, which encompasses a whole range of activities. Very honestly, it is not very clear to the global community the exact impact that these sanctions will have on the individuals that have been targeted. It is perceived to be mostly a wave of individually targeted sanctions to hit symbols more than to actually hit economically Iran. Whatever could have been done by the United States of America against Iran in terms of sanctions has already been done. They have decided to hit very hard their oil sector. They have decided to heat very hard to their um, metal industry, heavy metal industry, which are two of the pillars of the Iranian economy. More than this is very difficult to go. So these round of sections is actually going to target the private assets of these individuals, preventing them to participate in international financial market, which eventually probably they wouldn't have done anyway. But this again, as I say, it is perceived as a target to the symbols that these people represent. We are not talking about irrelevant people commanders of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards, commanders of the army, the president, the supreme leader, I beg your pardon, of the country, and, very importantly, the foreign minister, who is, so to say, the face of Iranian diplomacy all over the world, a very good uh, PR actor, I would say, for Iran.